Hey, how is it going guys? Robin here again, bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming. Exciting news on the upcoming RTX cards. We are only a little bit of a week away from the full release of Nvidia's next generation cards featuring ray tracing and not ray tracking. <laughs> Basically, ray tracing is a more natural way of presenting light and reflections. By the way, that was uh, just me trying my best to simplify something that is indeed very common complex to do but anyway this stuff is actually very very exciting i think it's going to push the industry forward massively in a healthy way hopefully now i wanted to show you guys a couple of things i found quite interesting first and foremost everything i'm about to tackle about should be taken with a big scoop of salt as everything here is yeah that's it rumors now that being said nvidia's cfo was speaking in the company's latest post result financial analysis call confirmed that nvidia isn't retiring the gtx 10 series products anytime soon so that basically means that the the rtx and the gtx going to coexist together with the rtx series leading up to holiday 2018 we will be selling probably for the holiday season both our touring and our pascal overall architecture chris stated we want to be successful for the holiday season both our touring and our pascal overall architecture she added now we already know that nvidia has an overstock of old gtx 10 series laying around they want to get rid of these gpus obviously now because they have so many cards left this could be the reason why they keep selling the GTX 10 series along with the new RTX series. Now this could also mean that the RTX card aren't as powerful as Nvidia claims them to be. Remember guys, we haven't seen any real official benchmark numbers yet. Regardless, Nvidia is most likely or most definitely going to dump the price on the GTX 10 series. So if you guys are looking for a new graphics card, I definitely suggest you to wait a couple more weeks and most likely you will see better prices on the 10 series. And if you're interested in the RTX series, definitely wait for independent reviews. Obviously, I am going to uh, to test these new cards, guys. So uh, stick around and please, for the love of God, don't pre-order. All right. All right. So we got some more news as well. Again, guys, as always, this should be once again be taken with a big scoop of salt. A Turkish YouTuber put up a, uh, a quick benchmark video and then he took it down he basically showed off what he said was the rtx 2080 ti and he had some interesting benchmarks results for the uh for the new flagship so to speak this is the screen captures that was taken out of that video anyway the video was taken down for unknown reasons not sure if the guy himself took it down or if it was taken down because of the nda i don't know not sure but it's interesting anyway as you can see now we can't know for sure that he was indeed testing the rtx 2080 ti since he didn't show us any proof of the card whatsoever from the video but still it's a little bit interesting right all right so to sum it all up we got 3dcenter.org that has put together a nice summary of the relative performance of the rtx 2080 ti compared to the geforce gtx 1080 ti from last generation based on these results the rtx 2080 ti is approximately 37.5 percent better than the gtx 1080 ti as far as average fps goes and about 30 percent better on minimum fps now these numbers are in line with expectations from hardware analysis and the timing of the results tying into when the gpo launches does lead to some credence to the numbers one thing stays Stay safe here, wait for independent reviews before making any rash decisions of picking up a brand new RTX card as of right now. Now I am going to review the RTX 2080, I was stupid enough to order one thanks to the support from you guys so definitely look out for that. I will do my absolute best to fill you guys in with whatever questions you might have here regarding the brand new RTX card from Nvidia and with that said I'm interested to know what guys are most interested in rtx 
2060, the 2070 or even the 2080 Ti. As of right now, I wouldn't recommend these cards to anyone. But hopefully this will open up the pricing for the, uh, the GTX 1080 cards and the 1070 cards. Hopefully we will get a big price dump on these cards. Now let me know guys what you think about this in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, have an awesome day, alright? Bye.